The hot summer weather is taking a toll on local fish hatcheries, including the one in Cherokee. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us from the Western News Center. And Rex, exactly what's happening to them? Well, I visited the hatchery today. They have literally hundreds of thousands of trout there. That's good news after taking a big blow from a flash flood a year ago. But the summer heat this year is responsible for killing hundreds. It's out about 60 degrees right now. It's an everyday chore, especially these hot summer days, checking the temperature at the Cherokee fish hatchery. Preferably, we'd love it to be in the mid-50s. Hatchery supervisor Doug Reed says the trout here can get stressed and die in high heat. Getting 50, 60 off a day. And sometimes more, up to a couple hundred. It, it happens, obviously, you're going to have dead every day, but with the heat, uh, like I said, in the lower ends where we run into our issues. And there is times where we can't stop just due to heat because not only does the water warm up here, but once it leaves our hatchery, you know, it gets way up in the temperature. Reed says it becomes a bit of a balancing act. We turn our uh, liquid oxygen up, trying to maintain what we can. Oh, yes, it's hot. Lord, it's hot. Jack Etheridge is visiting from Alabama and thinks the heat means fewer trout are biting. I think so. I really do. And up the stream, mate, we went this morning, we didn't catch nothing. But given what happened one year ago when a flash flood killed two thirds of the hatchery's trout, we had to pretty much start over. Doug Reed says they're in good shape. Right now we are full. We got, like I said, 800,000 fish. From this time last year to this year, we're up 16,000 pounds. So we're we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Reed says with the help of 11 hatcheries around the country and money from the federal government and the Bureau of Indian Affairs, the Cherokee hatchery is nearly back to normal in half the time. We've been lucky to get back to where we are so far. And the Cherokee hatchery is responsible for stocking 30 miles of river on the reservation. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.